Hi guys, in this video we're going to be painting the lizard. So get your canvas out. Also you're going to need your, need your plate with your paints on. We're using five colors. We have black, white, turquoise, yellow, and blue. Make sure you have a paper towel ready or a napkin, whatever you have. This is going to be to dry your brushes out once you clean them. And you'll be cleaning them in just a jar of water, a cup, whatever you have. And then I have an assortment of different size brushes. So kind of a big one, small one, medium one. Mine are dirty, don't mind that. I just painted the unicorn. So for the lizard, we're gonna start with the background. And I'm going to mix up a bit of a color. I'm gonna do a very, very, very light blue. So make sure you have a lot of white. Don't use all of your white, but just, you're gonna want a lot of white. I'm gonna mix with my medium sized brush because it's easier. So I've got my medium brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of blue and stir it in with a lot of white. And it's just gonna be this very, very, very pale, light blue color. And just make sure you've mixed up enough to fill in your whole background. Um, don't use all your white. Like I said, you're going to need that for other parts of the painting. I need about twice as much as you because my canvas is twice as big. So probably about half of what I've made. And I'm just going to go in and paint everything around my lizard. So since I'm using my smaller brush right now, I'm going to go and do any kind of like little areas that I can't get in with my big brush. For the bigger areas, you can switch to a larger brush. But for now, I'll just work in these little, in between the toes and small spots. And I'm trying to smooth out any globs that I've gotten because I want nice, smooth, even paint. So just take your time, get around all those little lines. All right, so I've got all my kind of small areas filled in. Now I'm just gonna switch to a bigger brush so I can quickly fill in the rest. So with my big brush, same paint, 
I'm just gonna get all the rest of the painting, all the canvas filled in. eye back there. So there, there's my whole canvas is filled in with that very, very light blue color. Next, I'm gonna do my lizard. And you can um, change up your color if you want. I'm gonna shoot for a very, very bright lining green. If your green is different, that's fine. Lizards come in all colors. That's what makes them fun. So to make my bright green color, I'm gonna first take a little bit of this turquoise color and stir it in with a whole lot of yellow. So it's so much more yellow than it is the turquoise. And you see how it's this nice bright green. So now that we have that mixed, we will add white to it. So I'm just gonna kind of scrape the extra off just so my green or my white doesn't get all green in it. It still will a little. But over here to the side, take a little bit of my white, and I'm gonna stir that in. I'm gonna add a little bit more. So two pretty good sized scoops of white. Makes this nice and bright. Hopefully my hand isn't in the way. I have a bad habit of putting my hand in front of the camera so you can't even see what I'm doing. So that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna just fill in my whole lizard. Go around, of course, the eyes. The mouth, um, that will still show when you paint over it. You'll be able to see that line. I'm gonna do the back of this eye. So this little eye up here, since it's the back side, it's also green. Lizard's eyes are buggy a little bit. So just take your time and get your whole lizard filled in. If you need smaller brush, obviously go ahead and switch to something smaller that works better for you. Oops, it's a big old smear of the turquoise on my brush. It's all right, we're just gonna blend it in. dirty hand. My hand and my paint got it all dirty. So be careful you don't rest your hand down in your wet paint. The paw 
like the part of my hand that rusted down. It's got a pencil all over it because I just drew up all these canvases. And when my hand drags across the canvas when I'm drawing, it picks up that pencil. So I've got that weird little mark. Hopefully I can get that covered. So make sure you're just getting all the canvas covered with some kind of paint. So on your edges here, you're better to get a little bigger and overlap in case you're, maybe your background didn't get right up close to the drawing. So if you still have a little white edge there, that's fine to just take the green and then go right over. You can see where I've overlapped. The color gets a little darker because it's sitting on top of the blue. But that's fine. Just smoothing out some globs that I had. All right, so I've got them all filled in. I'm just gonna go back in anywhere that needs a little touch up. Looks pretty good. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and outline him. And I'm just gonna make my green a little bit more green, like more like grassy green. So I'm just gonna add a scoop of my blue, turquoise, sorry, this turquoise color into that same green. So I've got this kind of bluish greenish color. And with my small brush or like a skinny liner brush, I'm just gonna go in and outline my entire lizard. So I've got this kind of long skinny brush. And with this color I just made, I'm gonna go in and outline him. So around this eye,
I'm gonna come around his head. And if you add a little water into your paint, I haven't done that yet, but it does help make the paint flow. So I'm gonna just tip, dip my brush right into my water and then stir that water right into the paint. So maybe two little dips in the water and then just stir it in. And that will help the flow of the paint make it a little bit easier for you. I'm gonna do this whole side of the body here. Careful, the paint is wet to rest your hand. If you wanna just give it some time to dry, that would be good, because it's easier to do this if you can rest your hand on something. See, I just put my hand there. Oh boy, let me just tidy that up. Just take your time. Do your best to get this nice and even, nice smooth outline. Outlining is a little tricky, just takes patience really. Then I can come down the body. this foot to get the body and then I'll go and do the foot and go over to the side of his body Now make sure I get the mouth put in. So that line that was drawn, I'm just gonna go right across.
now that I've got my outline done, I'm going to finish his eye. I'm just going to paint it white to start. So, maybe a medium to small size brush. You're just going to fill it in white. So just some white paint. Just get this filled in. Make sure you get those pencil lines covered. We will be outlining with that green color like we just did the whole thing. But just be on the safe side. Just maybe overlap a little if you need to onto that bright green. And just a nice, thin, even coat of white paint. So we've got a nice big old eye. Next, I'm gonna work on the background. Um, I know we already have it painted, but we're gonna put some polka dots and I'm gonna use a nice bright blue. So it's pretty much the color that's on our plate, that dark blue color, but we're gonna add a little bit of um, white to it. Just a little bit stirred in with quite a bit of the blue because we want it to stay nice and rich and dark. So as you can see, this is much darker than that light blue color we did on the background. So this is gonna show up real easy. You'll have nice bright blue polka dots. And if you wanna do something besides a polka dot, that's fine. If you wanna maybe do stripes or swirls, little spirals, do whatever you want. I'm just gonna stick with some polka dots. They're nice, fun, easy shape. got one and they could be great big ones itty bitty ones whatever you decide I'm just gonna go in all over and make polka dots if you don't want to even do blue you can do maybe a dark green you could do white what else could you do turquoise so I have some that kind of come off the edge, maybe one that's coming behind my little lizard guy. Off the corner here. And I'm just gonna fill in all over the background. one by his toes. Oh, it's kind of a tricky one. Coming behind us, little foot here.
I kind of whooped a little there. All right, let's make it a little bigger. All right, so I've got all my polka dots on. If you want to go ahead and put another coat on them, just so they're a little bit filled in a little better, feel free. I'm going to just call it good for now on mine. And I'm going to finish the eye. So using a smaller brush, I'm going to put a black circle inside for his pupil. So just a little bit of black on your brush. And inside of that circle, you're just going to make a small circle. So he's got a little pupil. And while that's drying, go ahead and outline using that same kind of darker green color that we made when we outlined the rest of the lizard. So I've got it still on my plate and it was just this limey green color added in with more of this turquoise. So it was this color, this color made this color. Just be careful around your edge again, outlining. This takes a little time. Try to be nice and steady. The more you practice outlining, the better you get at it. And I do a lot of it, so I've gotten pretty good at it. Okay, so I'm gonna let that white, not the white, the black of his eye dry. I'm gonna just hit it with my blow dryer quick. You guys just let yours dry, just take a little time. I'm just gonna put a little, just a little dab of white in the eye, just to make it look kind of shiny. And there, my lizard is done. I'm gonna sign my night name. I've got white on my brush, so I'm just gonna use white down here. There's my name. When you guys are finished, please take a photo and upload to my Facebook page, Willy Nilly. There's a post pinned right at the top of the page so you can find it easily. Just um, upload your photos there to share. I love seeing them. Also, you can check out what everybody else has posted. That's always fun. Um, thank you for painting with me and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.